ran her debit card for purchase. Flaming-haired young thing tasked in the side of her face and spikes up and down her ears. Ran her debit card for purchase. Her books? Bitter Von Tess and the newest young adult, Twilight of Unfazed, how Portland ubiquitous. Ran her debit card for purchase. Pretty tough, but pretty, and the look seemed to fit her, because she seemed comfortable in it. Some aren't. The confidence that might have made her... Well, uh, please enter your pin. <laughs> Not your pin number, that would be your personal identification number. Number. Holding the pad, not many do. Mentions like many do that the pad was unusually loud. It does have an annoying little. There's a reason for that, and I give her my pad and one liner. Yeah, but Christmas in here, you can't even hear it. She looks at me quizzically, lets that sink in. I smile. She coyly volleys a smile back. And there they were. Full reveal. <laughs> there they were. Fangs. She had fangs. Pearly white and brilliant against her black red lipstick. She had fangs! About half an inch long by cuspids, canines, I don't know, I'm not a dentist. And I wasn't about to Google it either because I was too busy being stunned into zombie-like silence. Fangs! This is new! Of all the tats, spikes, henna, branding, scarring, and kid, you're not even devil horns. Of all the bookstores, in the city, your insecure showed her independence. Body mutilation had come into Barnes and Noble. Forget that. And in the second seemed like minutes seemed like hours, I was trying to think, fake, grind it, or implant it, or maybe now starting to really become a conscious of how stirred I was. As stirred was I, deep down, deep down, adamant thighs, going seen hundreds of women with fangs in the movies, but see real ones, grotesquely beautiful ones, up close. You suddenly realize the allure. <laughs> I was turned on and off simultaneously. My Catholic physiognomy made me believe, yet crushed my instinct, yin yet yang, simultaneously. Because basically, to be base, my John Thomas didn't know whether to pull a Frampton comes alive or shriek and shrink into my pelvis. Closed. Closed. But please, 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 come again. Because what if her mouth came anywhere near my... Oh, God. And she knew it. What was she doing? She'd seen it before and she liked it. What was she doing? She, she had fangs. I guess that's why you get fangs. And like a zombie out of my mouth, egg ape staring up at the receipt in the books, the books in the bag, the back in her hand, then stopped. We played a little tug of war. She raised an eyebrow and I said, I'm sure you've, um, been asked this before, but, um, I guess what I'm trying to inquire is, um, why, uh, the whole fang thing? She, she... She looks at me and she says, Well, I guess so I can do this. And then she lets you off the bag. And she smiles again. And as she moves, as she leaves, as she struts across the store, she keeps her eyes on me all the way out the damn door and then through the window because I'm still watching. She does this. Well, I'm on the clock. I'm on the clock, working. But hey, I also have a girlfriend. And that didn't stop me either.